Hey guys, this is John from Laser Ninja Productions, and I'm out at uh, at uh, Alamo City Comic Con 2017, um, running a laser marquee for the people coming into the event. So, uh, what I figured I'm going to do is kind of do a very, very different kind of tutorial. Um, I'm in a kind of a unique situation. I just sold off all of my really high-powered lasers. Um, so, with the laser marquee, I needed to bring out a couple two and a half watt lasers that I'm actually double stacking and aligning uh, so I can get somewhat more brightness than I would with just a single projector. So this is a trick I learned uh, from way back in the day when I used to work with three gun um, CRT projectors and we would not only have to align all three of those people are excited for this tutorial, what can I say? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a, a trick I learned back in the day when not only would we have to align all three guns on the CRTs, but we would also double stack those. Um, something still useful for like DLP projectors if you've got um, a crosshatch pattern and can do geometric correction. So let's take a look at this. First step, um, we're taking a look at the uh, projection zone configuration dialog inside of Pangolin and Beyond. Um, we, the two zones that I'm going to be focused on here are the main graphic zone and the scanner 2 main. Uh, those are the two zones that I'm going to be overlapping with each other. Um, what I want to first do is select the, uh, the alignment configuration or the alignment test pattern uh, for both the main graphics and for the scanner 2 main. If I look at the, uh, the back wall, I can actually see where my two patterns um, are projected on the wall. Now the first step is to align the centers of the two, um, the two images. So I'm on, you know, my two zones that I'm using here are the main graphic zone and scanner two. Now I'm already set to position. I've already adjusted the relative size. I want my second scan zone to be slightly larger than my first one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the position and get the centers to line up as much as possible. So you're going to start to see the centers come together. And we'll kind of fine tune this in here. So I now have my one center line. Now I'm going to adjust the left and right. And this isn't going to be perfect. I'm going to adjust this when I get to fine tuning. Uh, geometric correction with the crosshatch pattern, but the center X and the numbers are now roughly center. You can see that scan zone six, which is scanner number two, is slightly larger than scan zone one, which is exactly what we want.